G'day guys, welcome back to Lost Jewelry Recovery. Today we are hit the ocean. There has been a ton of people out there behind me swimming. Who knows what we're gonna find. So let's gear up and get out there. I'll see you in the water guys, cheers. For all my new subscribers, you're probably wondering what my little bottle is here. I place my rings in the bottle. I normally actually have a sock, but it's currently in the washing because it's a bit smelly. Place my ring in the bottle, screw it up, 
It's locked tight and we're good to go. Really good if you have diamond rings. You want to keep them safe. There's plenty of gold and silver treasure in this ocean. Let's get out there and find it, guys. Let's get back to it. Have you ever seen a fish with legs that can actually fly? I oh, know I haven't. How about an octopus that steals engagement rings? I tell you guys, there's a first for everything and every week I am seeing it out there in the ocean. It's absolutely crazy. And check out the treasures we found today. I found that within the first 10 minutes of being in the water. That is a silver Pandora ring. And what I like about this guys is it's actually a fresh drop. The weather is beautiful. Plenty of people swimming out there. I can tell this is a fresh drop because it is not tarnished. Now I did actually have to wrestle an octopus to get this back. Now you did actually see this in a video a few weeks earlier and what I'm actually doing now guys is I'm experimenting with micro videos and I'm doing this for you. A lot of people can't sit down and watch a 15 minute video but that's okay. I'm gonna have short videos anywhere from 20 seconds to even three minutes. Check out this little beauty. I found that within about another half hour after being in the water. I was in the water for about two, two and a half hours. Really good find, two silver rings today. Cash today, we found only about $4.50 in cash. 10, 15 trash targets, that's really impressive considering this area during big storms as well. A lot of rubbish and trash does actually get washed in and I do clean it up, whether it either be, you know, plastic or metal, it doesn't really matter. I clean it all out. Cleaner ocean for my boy to swim in, that's what I want guys. Share, like, subscribe, who knows where we're gonna be next week and I'll see you on the next hunt. Happy hunting guys, cheers. <laughs>back from a hunt, another hunt. You normally see me with the Mine Lab Excalibur 2, that's the underwater metal detector, goes down to 60 meters. Awesome, awesome detector. I had a recovery for a thin gold chain.
I know what you're thinking, Finn Gold Chain, Michael, you're not going to find it. Trust me, I did have my doubts and I always tell my clients, please send me a photo of it because my mind lab Excalibur 2, I know for a fact I will not get it and I will not perform a recovery when I know the metal detecting equipment simply will not find the item I'm looking for. I asked for the photo, he sent it through. I was very disappointed at first because all I seen was a Finn Gold Chain but then I looked further down the neck and then we see the pendant. Now the pendant, it's beautiful guys. It belongs to the person's grandmother, so it's been in the family for quite a while now and it was very important that we actually get this back today and luckily we did. Now how I actually got it was simple. You can see behind me, I have the Mind Lab Equinox 800 series. I've done some experimenting at home with Finn Gold Chains. Now I do have a variety here. Mainly most of them are my wife's or my mother's. <laughs> but got all their jewelry. Took them off. Some have pendants. Some are just plain gold chains. Nothing else on them. Some are thicker. Some are thinner. I went through all eight modes on the Mind Lab Equinox 800. I was expecting to hunt on either Beach 1 or Beach 2. That's what I was going to set my settings on before going down to the beach. Now after doing the test at home, I found out out of all eight modes, now you got one and two on each mode. You have a park mode, you have a field mode, you have a beach mode. We have the gold prospecting one, gold prospecting two. Now my best results at home were on gold prospecting two. I was hunting on sensitivity level number 17. My recovery speed was at number two. And that was the best result for today on this gold chain. Now I have to tell you though, the amount of small targets that I was actually picking up. Over 60, 70 targets I picked up in a three hour search guys. This was, it was painstaking to be honest, it really was. Because I could not miss a beep, I could not pass on a target. And that's the crazy thing about gold chains. Gold chains could have diamonds, a $100,000 gold chain. And your metal detector is basically telling you it's rubbish. <laughs> Dig every beep, okay? Every signal, it doesn't matter what it sounds like because trust me, I've had some rubbish signals in the past. There could be a gold ring right next to a bottle cap and you've just passed it on simply because it's done a little skip between the numbers and you're thinking, yeah, no, nah, it sounds like a bottle cap. Doesn't matter, guys. Pick it up, because either way, you're cleaning up the beach, and who knows, you might actually be cleaning up some pretty valuable gold too. This is actually the first gold item I have actually found with the Nox. Now, I'm not really taking it on professional recoveries just yet, especially ring searches, only because my Mind Lab Excalibur 2, that's proven over... I don't even know how many times now, guys, you've seen the videos, even off videos as well, I cannot film everything and put it on YouTube. Unfortunately, I simply do not have the time, but it's absolutely crazy how many rings I've actually found with the Mind of Excalibur 2. But I do know for a fact right now, I can tell you that the Mind Lab Equinox 800 series can find gold chains, but it's a pendant that saved the day. My recommendation to you is put something possibly silver on it, a large gold pendant, something like that, something larger than the fin chain itself, because if you do lose it, it's gonna be very hard for any metal detectorist to get it back, and to be honest, I was very, very lucky to find this gold chain today, and it's only because I extended my search one meter outside my final search area. That's what I love about this hobby, guys. Who knows what we're gonna find. We've got some new equipment. The owner's gonna come at about five o'clock today. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be here. I've gotta shoot off to another recovery. It was a gold pendant that saved the day. But I'd been forgotten, I do. Been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I do. But I've been forgotten I do. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I do. <laughs>